amazingly, you can hear all the birds going nuts here. It's just so lush back in here. Oh my gosh. But what we're going to try next is a fish favorite of mine. It's tilapia air fried on a bed of onions and mushrooms. And then we'll hopefully do a side of uh, green beans along with that. And uh, it'll be just fantastic. The tilapia is really super easy. You just lay it on top of the uh, bed of uh, onions and mushrooms and uh, it cooks nicely in the air fryer toaster oven. So get ready for some great food. To another episode of Cooking on the Road with Scotty B. Today we're going to dive figuratively into the ocean and we're going to get us a fish dinner. It's an unsung hero of the protein food group. When you think about dinner, preparing a meal for yourself, rarely does fish ever come to mind. Uh, but they really should more often because there's, it's so good for you. And it's so easy to get now, uh, especially since it's filleted and descaled and prepared, uh, individually packed into uh, little freezer bags, loaded with omega threes. Fish is really, really healthy for you. So we're going to cook today and use our special friend, the air fryer oven, the Black and Decker that we featured on the Leaning Tower Pizza. And I hope you enjoyed that episode, by the way. Um, so uh, it's going to be another healthy meal. Uh, it's going to be on a bed of onions and mushrooms and peppers. And also we're going to uh, prepare some green beans to go along with that. So let's get ready for some great food. So we're going to start with our old friend, the... Cook's Essential Rice Cooker. It's a three cupper, I believe. And we got this off of QVC years ago. It has very, been very, very loyal to me. Uh, but we're leaning away from the rice more and uh, working on more vegetables. Uh, less carbs that way. So let's prepare our green beans. Okay, there's no rocket science here. Here's the can of green beans. We just Crack her open and pour the whole thing, liquid it all inside the rice cooker, just like so. Then I'm going to place a nice dollop of uh, a little butter in there with it. There we go. And some salt and pepper. Good and flavored. Then essentially all we do is place the lid back on the unit. Click it in place and push the cook button. And push it three times and it brings you up to 30 minutes of cook time. So that'll be nice and warm for us when we're ready. So what we'll do with this is we'll set this down on the floor, out of the way, let it do its business, and that'll be ready for us when the fish is complete. The reason I chose tilapia for uh, this meal was because uh, salmon costs as much as lobster tail. And it's crazy right now what inflation is doing, but uh, tilapia is uh, still fairly affordable. So that's what we're rolling with. Now let's prepare our tray for uh, the uh, veggies. Okay, we're gonna use our baking tray that comes along with our air fryer Black & Decker toaster oven and uh, along with some uh, Pam. So we're gonna spray the surface of this so the veggies don't stick. And 
trying to make, try not to make a mess. There you go. Looks good. Just for reference, uh, Pam. You can use Pam. Any of any favorite uh, non-stick cooking sprays will work. Olive oil, canola oil. It's all good. So whatever you choose, it's gonna taste great. Okay, on to our next preparation. We're going to prepare a half of a bell pepper, half of an onion, and three mushrooms. And slice these all up. We're gonna quarter quarter the onion and uh, get that ready to place it on the baking tray. As usual, when you're preparing vegetables, please, please be careful and make sure that your equipment is sharp and good to go because a dull knife is more dangerous than a sharp one in the wrong hands. So we've uh, halved our uh, bell pepper and we're going to do a little bit of coring here, not much, because uh, I think the uh, bulk of the seeds was in the other um, part of the pepper. Okay, once it's uh, like that, you're going to cut it into strips. So let's cut it in half first, and then just kind of make strip, long strip cuts. Watch your fingers, be extra careful. And one more cut on this one. That should do that part. Place them gently in our bowl. Get rid of the residue. One more to go. All right, nice and gentle. Cut with purpose, I always say. focused on the task at hand. Everything should go fairly smooth. Okay. All right, that's the bell pepper. Moving on to the onion. Okay, we've got the onion. We're going to cut the end off, or this would be the top. Peel it down to the end, cut the bottom. And that way you got a good start on peeling it. Quarter it long ways and then cut it at an angle. That way you can get some nice slivers. There we go. Just like so. And then when you drop them in the bowl, they'll come more or less apart. All right, moving on to the next. Now we have our three mushrooms. Slice those. About a quarter to an eighth of an inch. That last slice is always the most difficult. Okay, there we go. So we'll just slide these into the bowl. Oh, I lost one. There we go. All right, let's get ready to lay these on the baking tray. Okay, got the veggies. So let's start spreading them out, spreading the news. go. Okay, now that is a heaping load of vegetables. And you want to take some of your Pam that you sprayed earlier on the tray here and just put a light coating on top of the veggies. That way this when you put the spices on it'll adhere nicely to the vegetables. And we'll start with a little, a little salt. And 
the little Mrs. Dash. I really do love the Mrs. Dash. Now we're going to take and open up our filet. Uh, they're individually wrapped and frozen. Uh, this one is nicely thawed now. And just basically take a fork, grab a hold, and lay it gently across your, your bed of vegetables. That way it's all comfortable. Now don't forget to start the show. We got us some lemon pepper seasoning. And this stuff's really good. And we'll place it right on top of the fish, liberally. Oh yeah, that's gonna, look, that's gonna be delicious. There we go. And now place that in our toaster oven at 375 for about 20, 25 minutes, I'd say. And then we'll uh, finish it uh, with about uh, two to five minutes of air fry time. And it will crisp it up and make it look beautiful. Okay, we did the five minutes of air fry at the end of our 25 minutes of cooking. And it looks gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Tell me that don't look great, honestly. I mean, the veggies are all nice and crispy. The filet looks beautiful. Let's see if we can't just get this off in one swipe onto the plate here. I don't know if it's going to cooperate with me or not. Eh, I've done worse. All right. Meal fit for the king of the sea. <laughs> All right, now let's get our uh, green beans uh, into the party. We've got a spot for them right there. Just reach down here, grab it, and we got a slotted spoon. Oh, and that's that's good and steamy too. Oh my goodness. Okay, there we go. This is going to be really good, folks. Really, really good. Tell me, tell me that isn't looking fantastic. I say, I don't know why people just don't eat more fish because uh, it is so tasty so good and good for you so you know there we go i don't know look good i don't know what does so, so let's give her a try all right let's crack open the refreshments and let's take our first bite of fish here don't even need a knife. Flaky, tender, hot. Oh my gosh. It's like I slaved in the kitchen all day, but I didn't. I mean, with the cooking time, 30 minutes, <clears throat> prep time, eh, maybe 10, 15 minutes at the most. You, you, you just can't beat doing it yourself. The flavor is exquisite absolutely nothing bland it all
comes together. Ooh, mushroom. <laughs> One more bite of fish because I know, I just know. Here we go. Here we go. Mm. I know you're gonna make. You're gonna want to make some of this for yourself because it's so delicious. Got the fish. You can get you can get tilapia just about anywhere. Myers, Walmart, Aldi's, Kroger. You you take your pick. Um, but uh, it's so good. Get the right seasonings. You really can't go wrong. So, thanks again for stopping by for this very special episode. <sighs> because uh, trying to do a healthier version of Scotty B going into the future and everyone should be trying to do that too i'm not going to sit here and preach about oh you got to do this you got to do that because you know it's it's your body it's your your future so you make it what you want it and uh, uh, anybody can do it anybody can do what i'm doing here on the road that's what this is all about to show you the, how easy it is so again thanks for stopping by please hit that subscribe button and tell your friends we've got more great episodes planned and we'd love to see you back here real soon so thanks again have a great day